Okay, guys, welcome back to the channel. I want to talk about DLSS since uh, the latest uh, NVIDIA reveal about the 50 ser series. And, you know, the, the future of NVIDIA is AI, so they're trying to tell us that raw performance with the next family of graphic cards uh, is not going to be pretty interesting without frame gen, frame generation, and uh, DLSS uh, super resolution and all the features that come with uh, artificial intelligence. So I wanted to talk about the difference between TAA and the LSS in Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024. There are a lot of YouTubers and people that don't really like the LSS in this simulator and in the 2020 version. Okay. If you own um, a 40 series graphic card, especially a 4090, you'll find that TAA right now is not going to have a good performance and the visuals could be maybe crisper, but the FPS are low, okay? So I want to show you, in this case, I'm using the Pimax, Pimax Crystal Light, and since I can't find a way to show you the real performance using the Pimax XR runtime uh, in OBS, I have to make this and show you the split, split screen like you get when you use VR. So uh, I'm sorry about the quality because you won't get the real thing. But first, let me as usual, first of all, lower my volume here, okay, and talk about this, okay. So, I'm using this helicopter just to, because the, 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 the resolution and the, the model is pretty nice, and there are a lot of details, and the cockpit will help us understand what I mean, okay? Helicopters in 2024 are still so-so. So, <clears throat> let me show you this. <clears throat> so, you'll get my point. <clears throat> right now, the LSS, uh, I, have a, I have a video that explains how to get amazing and good performance in 2024. Right now, like you see here, <clears throat> I'm getting 42 frames per second, which is pretty nice in VR, in the following resolution. I'm using uh, 4,790 pixels by 5,820, which is pretty high resolution. I would say 4K, more than 4K. Uh, but, like you know, I'm using the LSS perf uh, performance, okay? So let me show you. I'm going back to 2D so you can see it better. Okay. We are going to settings. VR, VR graphics, and like you are watching here, NVIDIA DLSS Super Resolution in performance. What does performance do? It takes your native resolution, in this case, um, the, the number I told you, like 4,790 pixel, pixels by something, 5,000 something, and performance in NVIDIA DLSS Super Resolution will make that number, will take that number and make it the half, okay? okay? So it will take 50%. It's 0.5 of the native resolution. In this case, I'm choosing that resolution in the OpenXR toolkit, 
So I'm overriding resolution to get that number. Um, if I take that number in my 49, I get, I'm getting 42, 45 frames per second, which is nice, which is pretty smooth and performance wise is perfect. But you might see some ghosting. That's true when you move, when their trees are coming or you're doing BFR flights. Uh, but the cockpit, the cockpit looks amazing. And when I say amazing, it's like TAA or better. Let me show you two pictures that I have from the interior of the, um, the, the, the this helicopter. And you'll see that this is through the lens footage, okay? Not footage, it's a picture because I tried to make some footage video and it like, you know, getting that video through the lens is almost impossible right now because it's pretty small. The The, the room there is pretty small and, and I can make, I can put my cell phone the, the correct way. I tried with a, with a, with a 360 camera and the same. So, like you're watching here, the left image is um, TAA mode, and the right one is the LSS in performance, okay? In my opinion, you can see there the ADF bottom, right? I don't know what you think, but it's pretty sharp in comparison with the TAA. I'm going to tell you this, TAA, I'm using TAA with the, uh, without overriding resolution, no PNXR toolkit, so I'm going to use the native resolution from Pimax, which is 4,020 something hundred, okay? So I'm going to use 100% in TAA um, of the native resolution from the Pimax Crystal Light. Once we have that and, and we choose that resolution, I'm going to try TAA mode to test what happens, okay? Let me switch to TAA. Look at the frame rate here in, um, in 2D. It's 186, 85 frames per second. I switch to TAA, resume, in 2D is 120, 30, okay, something. And the resolution, let me switch back to virtual reality. In <laughs> virtual reality, I'm getting 20, if not less, 19 frames per second, and this is from outside, okay? It's, look at this, it's awful. But the resolution here is 7,000, the same I'm using with the LSS. So I'm gonna do what I told you is to go back to the native. So I'm overriding resolution here. You won't see it because the OpenXR tool is in another layer and OBS won't take it. Okay, now. I am 23 frames per second using the native resolution without overriding resolution in OpenXR Toolkit. It's like turning off OpenX, OpenXR Toolkit, okay? It's 4,282 by 5,202. That's TAA. And like I said, if I go inside the cockpit, okay, let me go in. This ADF bottom, see, yes, <laughs> you see, because I'm, I'm speaking Spanish, you know, uh, this ADF, I can read it, and it's not bad at all. I can read this, post radio, I can read here, radio, of optimal, okay, everything, okay, all the gushes are readable, here, 
point ten, everything. But I'm getting twenty two frames per second. So TAA in twenty twenty two, in twenty twenty four, it's forget about it. Okay, don't use it. We can lower our settings, we can lower the resolution, but if we lower the resolutions, these buttons are not going to be readable. Well, here's what I'm trying to explain. If you go back to BR, BR graphics, and then you go back to NVIDIA Super Resolutions in performance, okay, but first, I'm, I'm opening OpenXR Toolkit. You won't see it here, but you override resolution in, in the system tab to 4,790 by eight by 5,820. Okay, I'm going back, restarting BR. You can see my my resolution when I go in, when I go back to to the game, so you can see the FT, FPS counter. 4,790, I'm back to 40 frames per second or something. And right now, <laughs> I must tell you that it actually looks better. ADF bottom, for instance, I'm, take, I'm taking that as a reference. And I can also read radio, off, only off, and the same, 112.10, everything, okay? I can read here, forward, auxiliar, FTS, main, uh, let me see the, the gen, one, two, three, everything. Everything is readable, free air, this is the, the thermometer, it's looking good, perfect, all the, 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 the cockpit looks amazing and I'm getting 20 no I'm getting 40 double the TAA mode and I won't talk about the, uh, the, the the look and feel of the of the scenario it looks amazing I'm telling you and this is the LSS 3.5 which means 3.8.10 right now, but like we have the NVIDIA, we, we saw on the NVIDIA presentation, the LSS4 is going to improve all this. So there is no chance you want to keep using TAA mode in 2024, especially in 2025 with a 50 series graphic car or a 40 using the LSS 4.0, which will improve tremendously. By far, it will be better. The ghosting won't be noticeable. And um, artifacts, some different, well, the, 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 the anti-aliasing will improve. That's what they told us, okay? I, I, I'm, I didn't test 4.0 right now, but my next video will test that with my 40 graphic series graphic card um, with my 4090. So what I mean, if you're planning to get a 50 series or 5090 graphic card for BR, just hold your horses if you have, if you have a 4090 because I have the feeling that uh, the LSS 4.0 will improve our experience a lot, okay? Right now, I can tell you that my experience flying this helicopter is not different from 2024 using DLSS DLAA, which is the native resolution by one, multiply by one, not you won't see any loose, any 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 lost pixel, 
So, take my words and keep them. <laughs> the LSS4 is going to improve this. So we're going to get not best, no better performance in, in, in I mean, in, in frames. Maybe, yes, I don't know. But the visuals will improve even more. You, like, you know, frame generation is not possible in VR, except when you're using smart smoothing from Pimax Crystal and a single space warp in virtual desktop, for instance. But that is not an NVIDIA thing. It's a headset thing. So we must try that and then we'll see if it works or not better, I mean. But I want to tell you this again and for the last time. The LSS performance using my my the, the video I did with the guy to 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 improve the, the performance using preset F and with my NVIDIA settings and using all the stuff you need like auto FPS and and, and different settings, believe me, you will love Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024. Forget about the the different bugs and the career mode crashing and forget it. But the free flight is working. The scenario is better. Textures are coming better. I don't know if Asobo did something, but actually I'm not getting that awful feeling of low resolution text textures. So we have to wait for updates and everything. But believe me, TIA mode is gone. Because if you're willing to have a 20% gain versus a 4090 spending maybe a thousand dollars more or or more even more because the 4090 thanks someone telling that the 5070 is going to have the same performance as the 4090 it will be pretty difficult to to sell our 4090s <laughs> for what, what they are worth. So, I don't know. We have to wait and see what the LSS 4.0 brings. And please, please try the LSS performance using my guide because it's night and day. NTAA is an, is a no chance because if you're going to use TAA and lowering the resolution, the scenario will look awful, and your experience will tell you like some YouTubers are telling you, "I'm going back to Flight Simulator 2020 because 2024 is not good because I'm getting 20 frames per second and I don't like the visuals." Believe me, these visuals are great. I'm sorry that I'm using the split screen here. I'm going back to to, to the 2D version. Uh, so that's it. Hope you guys believe my words and my next video will be about 4.0. See you guys.